Hello guys, welcome to in 24 YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you guys a very interesting thing. If you are a website designer, like a web developer, you have churches that you have created a live streaming or you know website for, and then they ask you, can you do a kind of management system for us? Uh, this is what now I'm going to show you guys a church, a complete church management uh, system. Okay. Now this script, what this script does, it's um, give you a complete uh, church management system in terms of uh, the credits like income, expenses, um, like um, um, buying of uh, diesel fuel, you know, uh, different things, items. Okay, you have a kind of central database that enters these expenses and automate the process like balances the income and expenses I give you like a monthly overview and also you can enter uh, all the members their data into the system and you can also uh, add all branches of the ministry into the system like when you log in you can actually see all the branches the no total uh, members total uh, numbers of members you can actually have something like a birthday thing you know where if we once um, the the birthday of a particular member which is the system has sent some kind of birthday messages like all the system administrators see you can have different like newcomers uh, crusades uh, system a whole lot into this uh, management system so without much further ado let's jump right in and before that please if you have not subscribed to this channel, please help us grow this channel. Please subscribe. And after doing that, hit the notification bell so you can get notified each time I put up a new video. And also please share if you like this video. So um, this script will help you create a fully church management system. All right. So now let's jump right into it. First, you need a domain. On this, of course, you know that you need a domain, you need a hosting account, and uh, if you have these details, you cannot proceed. But if you don't have a hosting or a domain name, or you don't know how to do it, I have videos that teaches you how to register a domain and then hosting. Okay, you can also check um, the link under the description of this video where to buy a domain name and also a hosting. All right hello guys so now let's go into the practical okay so the first thing now we have to do is to log in into our C panel so uh, we have to bring the details out Enter our login details. Password. Then click login. And it's time to save it if, if you're on your personal computer. Okay. So now we have logged in into our C panel. So um, let us try to firstly create um, an SSL certificate. If you come over here, you will see there is no valid certificate for this domain. Okay, it's just registered. So um, I didn't want to do this before, but well, let's just try and go over it real quick. So now you can use um, SSL for free to generate a 90 days um, certificate, SSL certificate, okay? Or you can go for the paid um, version for one year. All right, so let's just uh, register a new account for this. Alright, now if you don't 
know how to um, do this so just uh, pay attention but if you already know how to go through this SSL certificate stuff then you can just uh, skip you know fast forward the video so this is for those who don't know how to like um, do this all right so let's create new certificate we'll go over and pick the domain enter it here and then we'll click next select the 90 days this one is free but if you're going for one year you'll be paying for it so let's go over to 90 days then we'll click next as you can see this for the free is three i mean three months that's 90 days if you want um, yearly you have to pay ten dollars for it so uh, i want to go for the 90 days first so I'll click the next and then you wait now what you do next you will try to upload a file then we're going to use this the http file upload method okay we check here i'll click download the up file it says downloading now what we do now we have to go to our domain and then we'll click um, file manager double click on public on that underscore html okay and then we try to click on settings here then check home directory then click eating i mean show hidden files and we'll click save the reason why we do this is because um any dot file will be um, not public okay until you have to click show hidden files all right so now we have to now click um, folder we have to create folder dot yes what you create look at it let's copy this come back here and I hope I copy the dot as well okay and then go back here you just click create new folder now you double click on the dot well you click folder and then you paste this you paste this from copy this pkl like this and then you copy from there paste it and then you click create new folder double click on it all right and then we click upload let's upload the, the file so you if this the file here you can drag also like this okay and then just click on this uh, yes the file so now we can go back here and double click I and mean, we'll just click on this to verify this is the first step make sure your file is available under the following link so let's see if the file is available All right is available is seen seen it here so we'll click the second one both file has to be seen so now we'll close this so now we can move to the next step to verify the domain then we'll click verify domain congratulations your domain has been verified this means that our system is issuing a certificate at the moment this page will refresh automatically every few seconds so we have to wait and now congratulations you see the certificate has been issued and it's ready for installation to continue please follow the steps below so now what we have to do now is download this file here it's downloading as well so we'll now go back to our cpanel we will now click on this under the security uh, tab here we'll click on ssl slash dsl now we'll come here we'll right click here we'll come here we'll right click yeah the certificate here then we'll go over here scroll down we'll click the choose a file so we choose this this is the file so we have to right click and then you know extract the file so here's the file now we have to first of all upload this private dot key file then click upload Alright, so close here and we upload this set 
file certificate file here. Please we'll close and we'll close the file. So now having done this, we'll close here. Then we'll click on manage SSL. Now to tell you that this works, right now you can see here under the domain here that no valid certificate, you know, here. Look at it here. So before doing this, see the status here. But after we do, do it, you see the the change, the changes there. So now I click on uh, manage SSL site. Scroll down, click here, select here, click auto fee by domain, scroll down and then click install certificate. So congratulations, SSL host successfully installed, click OK. So now if we go back to um, home, you find out that here will now be word that the system has seen a valid certificate, no sh not showing the red um, kind of sign again. So now having done this, what do we do next? This is time for us to create a database. The next thing for us to do is to create a database. All right. So now we scroll down to database section here and we'll click on the database wizard. We just name it, just say in 24, okay, just name it anything. Twenty-four. All right, you just generate a password for the database. Then you click use password. They have to save it somewhere. So I want to save it here. All right, save it here. Then click create user. So. The next thing you have to copy this the, the user and the database name paste it here then make sure you check this box all privileges okay otherwise some things are going to go wrong won't work okay so now we have successfully created a database now what we have to do now is to import the database file so we we'll scroll down to where we have PHP admin on the database you click on PHP admin Now this is the database we created. So what we have to do now, there are two files that come with the script. One is the database, one is the script itself. Okay, that's now we have to upload it. Click on this the name, the database name, then click import. Okay. Now we have to choose file. So now we have to pick the file, is the database file, click open it then we click go to import it okay so import has been successfully finished at six seven queries executed so that this setting of stuff now so now what we have to do next is to now upload the script itself so you go back to your uh, file manager here you scroll down and then we make sure that we are on the public underscore html so click upload click select file and then yes the script so what we have to do is to zip it Zip it. Just create a zip file on it, okay? So that we can upload it at once.
Okay, now here's the zip uh, code, so we have to click OK. So we wait for it to finish uploading. I have to pause the video first. Alright, um, the script is loaded. So what you have to do now is to click here and then right click on the code as the file. I right click on it and extract, click extract, extract files. Click closed. So now we have to click on this folder in code and then select click this select all we have to move the file to directly under our public underscore HTML so that when we enter the site um, we can have uh, the site okay so right now um, we have to now connect uh, the database so where you have this dot env file if you if you don't see it yet on your own come to this settings and then you click home click this show hidden files all right so now we have to right click on it click edit edit and now we have to connect uh, the database like this all right so copy the user Actually, the user and the database is the same thing. So we come over here, user, and the database. And then we have to put our password. It's the password. So now the app URL, that's the site. You have to enter the domain name. Okay, uh, I think we can have it here. Or something like this. Okay. Just want to copy here first. I have to enter it here. Alright. Okay, yeah. Then we click save changes. When we have done this, we now go to the domain name. First, I think we have to change the PHP version. Come to the your panel. Let's see what we have in the PHP default version. If it's not up to 7.3, we have to upgrade it. That's uh, we have to change it to uh, the option of 7.3 and above. Okay, yeah, just click on it and then you can click select the 7.3. Then you click set as current. So what we have to do now is to go over to the domain, and then we click the enter button. Okay, so now you have to log in, okay, using the default uh, username and password. Username is the email is. Then the password. Then you click login. So wow. Yes, the script is the dashboard. Okay. Now, what we really have to do is to go uh, quickly to um, explain each of the, uh, what we have here in the dashboard. As you can see, here's the overview. All right, um, showing you your registered members, total tag, total contributions, total pledge. Okay, so now, here's the branch. Okay, here's the branches. So you can actually view branches, you can add branches, all right? So just click on the view branch. Right now there is no branch, so you can just uh, let's say for the church we 
open a new branch we can just um, say okay um, lucky branch two okay you can just enter anything this branch was opened um, 12 kind of you know um, sorry this is 16 16 06 2022 okay and then you just click the save branch so now we have um, lucky branch so you can have all your branches okay here all right you can you know see the details can edit and you can also delete so now let's go for members click members you can view your members okay um, just with just you logging in you can actually view uh, how many members your church is having for you can be entering the each new you know, sometimes we have um, new, new members every Sunday they take their details the person who's who's going to be admin can always enter this data you know you know all every time so when you come over you can just see um, all the members you can just also use this search in case you're just one query at a particular member you can just type the name and surname and all that and then the member will details will come out but let's see how to just add a member real quick if you click on add member and then you know um you can have different branches but let's say we're adding this member on uh, lucky branch too so let's say mark um robin okay so gender let's say it's uh, a male right status okay you know married you know that status is it, is it a tender, just a visitor, or whatever? So let's say it's it's going to be attending the church. Enter the phone number, okay? Just enter this, and then uh, mobile only. So you can just uh, let's say we enter the same thing. Then the the date of birth. You can also do is uh, let's say we're entering this, okay? Then the address. To 12 Nike book, and you can always upload uh, the photo the members. All right, you can now enter a description. This is a new member, anything okay? So once you're done, you click save. Now the response status successfully. All right. So now, immediately you you can have hundred thousand members, and then you just with uh, the name you can actually pull up the data of uh, that member. Why? I just add. Uh, I just add like two more. Um, just want to make a thing alien. All right, so a female, a married visitor. Just want to make this be candidate. No, just you know, adding address. I, I want to leave those ones. Okay. All right, let's add one more. So lucky branch. Engage September. Then uh I'll leave the other details just um, for time's sake I'm trying to rush. So you can see now that uh, if you have let's say 100,000 members you can just type a name and let's say we want to search for Jane and you see that only that um, a particular member will come up which is this 
and you can just have all the details you want from that person. So what well, that is that about members for now. So let's go to so winnings. Yeah, is the aspect of um, click so winnings. Yes, the aspect of uh, when you have like something like a crusade or a program, and then you know you understand what so winning is. You can actually add them, and so uh, you can come to events and view events. Right now, there's no event. You can add events. Events are like different programs, concert, and all that. Okay, I, I wouldn't be adding those ones here. You know, you can do that when you have the script. And then under pledges, you know, people at different programs, they pledge different, um, maybe something to do. I want to buy land for the church, I want to buy musical sets for, you know, church like that. You can add the pledge here, all right? So as well as, you know, contributions. When people make contributions, you know, you understand what I'm saying? So follow-ups, the same, payroll, you have staffs, yes, uh, the staff of the church, okay? You can view payroll. Um, all right, so right now, um, you can, when when members are paid, all the paid uh, members, everything about payment, so you can have from here, you can add pay, payment, like when you make uh, admin, right? You can add um, um, payroll, like when they make, payment or when you pay someone or anything you get my point so yes the expenses all right you can view all the expenses that has to do with buying of your diesel you know uh maybe anything okay uh, um, air conditions uh, maybe fans uh, instruments and everything it, so you can all right you can uh, um, add expenses you know you can add expenses all right like that and then for income, you can view income, you can add maybe, you know, income, you understand what I mean? All right, so report. Here's the cash flow, profit and loss, all right? Then here is, uh, you can view assets of the ministry, okay? Then communication, email, all right? You can actually send an email to all members, okay? Or you can select, just type, you, you want to email a particular member. You can have a 100, 500, to 1 million members. You just want to send an email to a particular member. You can just type the name, this, all right, to this person. You just add the name, this, you know, this is to whatever. And you put your subject and then you click the save and it's going to send the same thing as SMS, all right, okay. So uh, custom speed and you know this is audit tray. Understand what I mean by audit? All right, you understand. Um, so now here you have a complete church management script. Okay, that takes care of all aspect of the church from you know managing your branch members, events. All the events, you know, just have a record of all the events um, of the church, contributions, you know, payroll, expenses, and all that. Beautiful part is that the system can automatically um, balance your expenses and then your profit and everything. At the end of the month, you know your expenses and then you know the total of the income. All right, so thank you for watching this. Um, particular video. If you want the script, uh, I'm going to drop contact, my WhatsApp contact, okay, under the description of this video. You can contact me directly on WhatsApp, okay? And then, if you also want to learn how to design website, you can also contact me, all right? So, uh, I, I have um, uh, products, I have digital step-by-step -step video materials for that, okay? And then a whole lot, all right? So if you want also to buy a domain, don't know how to buy a domain and hosting, be it to, all right, you can also contact me. All right, now, uh, very, very important. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please support us. Subscribe to this channel and then hit the notification bell, okay? So that you can always get notified when I put up a new video. If this has blessed you, please share, like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.